girls with their nails done now. guys what is going on check this out this is auntie 703 double r in blue and gray you know what it looks like a power ranger but to be honest it looks better than i expected it to look on pictures and videos it looked like something too fancy too crazy and don't get me wrong this design is very radical but still it doesn't look too bad it's really sharp aggressive but it looks kind of dope uh, in comparison to SR605 I would say that it looks a little bit maybe even sporier than that and you know what I really like? I freaking like this frame it looks like plastic but this is aluminum frame and it looks very good really especially compared to SR605 this is something which you pay attention to right away uh, the curb weight of the bike is 196 but power wise dude uh, we have 102 horsepower and we have 74 newton meters of torque which is more powerful than this bad boy over there uh, brakes are pretty much the same we have 310 millimeter dual sided disc j1 uh, calipers uh, but guys check this out the tires are better we have michelin tires over here and there so this bike dude is pretty dope we have a bigger dash so this is 6.75 inch tft dash we have keyless ignition which i'm not a big fan of but yeah this is our dash uh honestly i don't know i i do prefer tft dash on sr675 but dude let's listen to the freaking motorcycle ready come on maybe i need to get rid of this kickstand over here ah you need to press the clutch which makes no sense <laughs> we can actually here right away that this motorcycle is way louder than us R675 let me just put in the first gear okay let's go oh yeah we don't have a soft limiter anymore <laughs> okay yeah this motorcycle is a little bit jerkier than us R675 it's a little bit more aggressive i would say all right guys this, so this is my first time ever riding this motorcycle and you know what like it's more maneuverable it's more agile yeah what the hell yeah dude it's more agile than sr675 like it's easier to zigzag it's easier to maneuver around and swerve around actually um, I didn't expect that to be honest huh that's crazy uh, power wise by now it feels very similar honestly uh, but it's a little bit louder the throttle is way more sensitive and touchy <laughs> oh my god okay ass mode supposed to be sport okay so we weren't even in freaking sport mode can you imagine okay so we have traction control we also have heated grips which is pretty cool to see 
And right now, as I'm in the sports mode, oh shoot, yeah, it feels a little bit more powerful. Uh, I am on my way to measure acceleration. One thing to understand, guys, is that the weather is a little bit cooler, so the traction might be a little bit worse. So far, guys, the most outstanding feature of this motorcycle for me is superb handling and extreme maneuverability in city conditions. Uh, it, you feel it right away after a SAR 605. It's just way more maneuverable. Yeah, dudes, like, check this freaking out. It just like insane. You don't need much space. I mean, it's like a freaking bicycle. What the hell? Shoot. Oh, and the gearing is so different. So the first gear, shoot, <laughs> all those guys on mopeds, they have no freaking idea what they do. So the gearing is different. The first gear goes all the way up to 100 kilometers per hour. We're going to check it out. But gears are longer, which I really like. So we have 42 tooth rear sprocket. And don't get me wrong, guys, this bike is freaking fast as hell. And uh, it feels a little bit more powerful, but Oh my god, oh my god, oh yo. Alright guys, listen, let me be honest with you. So just now I rode this motorcycle for 15-20 minutes. Uh, this bike is so much more maneuverable than SR605. In city conditions, guys, this bike feels weightless. It's so freaking agile. When you are like zigzagging like this, it feels so freaking good, so much more maneuverable. It needs so much less space to turn. It's crazy. I don't know. I feel like this bike would be more maneuverable even on a track. Um, the thing is that the throttle would be a little bit more sensitive. So once you're riding this motorcycle, you need to, you need to exert a little bit more attention. You need to pay more attention, you need to stay more alert. This bike is a little bit more jerky, uh, it's a little bit touchier, but guys, this motorcycle is faster. The carb weight of this bike is supposed to be just the same, uh, like one extra kilogram compared to SR675 uh, on paper. I'm not, I'm not sure whether this bike is heavier or lighter, but guys, when you ride this bike, it feels freaking lighter. Speaking about technology, this bike has traction control, we have heated grips, we have 6.75 inch TFT dash, we have keyless ignition, we have fully adjustable Marzocchi suspension, we have aluminum frame, like uh, this bike has a little bit lower seat so the seat height is 795 millimeters we have 16 liter tank capacity versus 15 liter tank capacity on SR675 if we're talking about minuses I would say that maybe this bike is a little bit tiny little bit less smooth than SR675 just a little bit less smooth uh, the throttle will be touchier which is a minus for some people and it might be also a plus for some other people uh, for me, actually, the throttle is pretty good, but those are just like tiny little things. But overall, guys, once you hop on this bike after SR675, the first thing you would notice is how maneuverable this bike is. It's far way more freaking maneuverable than SR605, especially in city conditions. Dude, I'm not freaking even joking. I'm so freaking pissed because as I ride this bike and as I was turning you know as i was swerving around in traffic i was like what the fuck is going on this bike is so much more maneuverable and it's not like oh you know i think it's more maneuverable no you would freaking feel it right away uh, one more thing to mention dudes is that this bike is definitely much louder than sr 605 so i don't know guys i'm a little bit pissed because to be honest by now i rode this bike for only 20 minutes i do freaking enjoy this motorcycle more than sr 605 yes I do enjoy it way freaking more than SR605. And you know what, what's crazy? The price difference is 300 RMB. So you get this aluminum frame, you get power mode, you get full adjustable Marzocchi suspension. You, you, you have all this freaking crazy package for 41,800 RMB. So far, the biggest minus of this bike is its freaking design. But other than that, this is a freaking awesome motorcycle. Crazy freaking good motorcycle. Oh, yeah, guys, listen. 
I'll pull out my draggy. You know the place. I'll hop on the bike. We'll try to measure acceleration. I'll try to check the brakes. We'll also speak about quick shifter. Yeah, so without further ado, I'll just hop on this bad boy and let's go. <laughs> the hell who all right guys um <clears throat> zero to 150 was sub seven seconds zero to 100 kilometers per hour 3.7 seconds <laughs> zero to 100 3.47 seconds which is already faster than on SR675 Yeah, yeah, dudes. What the hell? Yeah, we're faster than on SR675. This is faster. Mm. This is faster. Oh. Brakes are, uh, I would say that the brakes are very similar to SR675. In the end of the day, we have the same calipers. Ooh, okay, one more time. The last time, guys, ready? Okay, 3.52 seconds. I mean, not bad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, that's freaking insane, dude. In freaking sane. <laughs> All right. Yeah, guys. So, uh, honestly, I'll be honest with you. My best acceleration on SR675 based on Draghi from 0 to 150 was at about 7 seconds. Not a single time did I crack 7 seconds. Uh, when I was measuring by myself, at once it was sub 7, seven seconds. So it was like 6.9. But on this dude, I'm so much faster. This bad boy, I would say it's easier to launch. We did few power wheelies, but still, like, it's pretty manageable, even though the throttle is a little bit more sensitive. It's a little bit touchier, but still, guys, this bike is faster. Crazy stuff. Let's do a stoppy. Now, we couldn't do a stoppy, by the way, which I'm not a big fan of, but still. All right, one more freaking time. The last time, guys, and we'll wrap it up. Ready? All right. Okay. 3.43. Okay, not bad. This motorcycle is way more aggressive in every single way other than ergonomics. If we compare this bike to SR675, I would say that this bike is, is more fun to ride and uh, CF Moto feels almost lethargic compared to this bike. So far, Quick Shifter isn't perfect on Zontis as well. 
but I would say that it's better than on CF Moto. Once or twice, quick shifter didn't feel so good, but overall, I do enjoy this quick shifter a little bit more. I would say that CF Moto is still a little bit more well balanced and a little bit smoother. Technology wise, we have pretty much everything CF Moto has. Uh, CF Moto does have adjustable traction control, which actually feels the same. So in this regard, I feel like these two motorcycles are the same, but Zontis has power modes. We have two power modes. But again, we don't have ride-by-wire, so those power modes, they feel pretty much the same. Zontis also has uh, heated grips and heated seat. And um, the winter is coming, dude. So for me, actually, even though this is a sports bike, but for me, it's a pretty cool thing to have on a bike. Shoot, yeah, dude, it's much faster. It's much faster. Initially, I was super skeptical about this design. I really hated the design. Um, it looked like a Power Ranger, to be honest, or like Ultraman, you know? Ultraman is one of those superheroes in China. I still prefer CF Moto's design, don't get me wrong, but this design isn't too bad, and it's very radical, and it's for sure unique, which is cool. Maybe it's a little bit too Chinese, but... Oh. Yeah, guys, it's much faster than CF Moto, I'm sorry. I am keep on saying the same things, but yeah. Like, it feels torquier, it feels more powerful, it sounds more ferocious. Gears are longer, we can get all the way up to 105 kilometers per hour in first gear, which is great for acceleration. I don't feel like bottom and torque is worse than on CF Moto. Actually, it feels just as good, if not better. Yeah, it's not freaking close at all. It's not close at all. You know, on CF Moto, when you go hard, you expect this kind of power band to disappear. You expect the bike to eventually slow down. And the faster you go, the less power you have. So CF Moto is pretty good at the beginning. So zero to 100 acceleration is pretty good, but then the power fades away. Meanwhile, on this bike, the power is way more linear than on CF Moto and uh, it feels much torquier than that. And again, top speed is more impressive. Acceleration is more impressive with me riding. Uh, maneuverability is better. Brakes are just as good, if not better. And Zontis gives you this additional option of Brembo brakes for extra few solvents. So guys, I mean, in my books, Zontis has won the freaking competition. Yeah, uh, I really wanted CF Moto to be better. But it is what it is, because Zontis just feels like a more powerful motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, it's so much more powerful, dude. It's so much more powerful. <sighs> yeah, again, the cockpit isn't as good. Uh, the dash is bigger, but I'm not a big fan of this dash. It's a little bit more difficult for me to understand what is going on here. Uh, but again, we have more technology, we have keyless ignition, which is for me a minus, but for most of you guys, it'll be a plus. This motorcycle has aluminum frame, which is so freaking good. It feels so much better. It feels so much more maneuverable compared to CF Moto SR605. Oh shit. Please let me know what you think about this motorcycle in the comment section below. Would you still choose CF Moto SR675 over Zontis? Uh, if you would choose CF Moto, tell me why. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, guys, we do power wheelies not only in the first gear but in the second gear as well. I know that most of you probably want to see drag racing, but uh, it's really hard for me to arrange because nobody wants to drag race. So, yeah, I hope that drag was enough this time. Yeah, guys, with that being said, new videos are coming. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And as always, I'll see you in my next videos. Bye, everybody. Take care.